Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally bringing a pregnancy vlog to you guys. Um, I know I promised that I would be doing these weekly, but you know, kudos to anybody who can keep up with their posting schedule when they're pregnant um, because it's hard. There, I have like minimal motivation to do anything nowadays. Um, and then, you know, in the beginning with being sick and everything, it's just hard. So um, I'm, I'm sorry that I didn't keep up with that, but I'm gonna try to recap everything that's been going on um, for the last nine months. So um, today I'm actually 37 weeks and one day. And I just got out of my doctor's appointment um, so everything has been going great as far as pregnancy, um, the baby's healthy, I'm healthy, my only issue has been uh, anemia, but really it's not that bad, um, so everything's been great in that, that department. Um, I was sick for a long time, I still to this day get nauseous off and on, so that kind of never really went away, it just <laughs> gets better on certain days. And then um, on random days, I will have a bad day where I'm just sick all day long. So um, luckily I'm not still like throwing up. Um, so that's good because nobody likes that. But um, so trying to trying to think of what's what's been happening. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to hold, hold this phone. I'm vlogging from my phone, but... Um, <clears throat> Not a lot, really. I've I've been um, just trying to check off my to-do list <laughs> for the past several weeks um, because, you know, it, it takes a lot out of you to do any kind of work whenever you're pregnant. So I have to do things slowly. Um, and I get have been getting contractions since I was probably like 34, 35 weeks, something like that something around that um, I started having contractions pretty much every day um, it started out where I would have contractions every like two to five minutes and it would last an hour or two and then within the past couple days it's actually been just kind of sporadic like random contractions all throughout the day um, so it didn't like it wasn't uh, like you can't say like it was two to five minutes apart because I would have one and then a couple hours later I might have two and you know what I mean so um, but last night actually excuse me I woke up to use the restroom and um, when I was laying down trying to fall back asleep I noticed I was um, having contractions and I started timing them and they were about two to five minutes apart and that lasted a couple hours I was up from about 3 30 till almost six o'clock um, so that whole time I was having contractions, um, but eventually they just kind of slowed down and then I fell asleep. So nothing woke me up. I guess they stopped. I wasn't having any more by the time I woke up this morning. Um, so yeah, I'm at this appointment, um, he checked my cervix and I'm closed and everything's still thick. It doesn't seem like these contractions are doing anything, which is a little bit disappointing. I'm not going to lie, but I'm just trying to trust my body. Like it knows what it's doing. The baby obviously just needs more time to develop. So I'm trying not to be too upset about it. <laughs> it's just like, why am I hurting all the time for no reason? <laughs> That's the frustrating part. But, um, other than that, like I still, uh, my hospital bag is, basically packed. I have um, a few things that I need to get together like my camera equipment and then I have a list of things um, to grab like when we're walking out the door. Things that I'm still currently using and um, so I plan on doing a what's in my hospital bag video. Um, so I love watching those so if you guys are interested in what I'm packing, what I plan on using at the hospital, then um, leave me a comment. Let me know that you want to see that video. Um, 
they scheduled me for a c-section this is a repeat c-section for me my third one um on february 28th so um he can come you know now until anytime between now and then um i'm kind of hoping that he'll come early uh not too early of course i want him to be ready but um i'm just i get i know that i'll be super duper anxious the day um or the days leading up to the surgery so i kind of would like to avoid that i feel like if it was more spontaneous i just started labor and then i only have a hour or two to really be nervous about it versus the whole week leading up to it <laughs> that just sounds more ideal for me but <laughs> um yep i'm ready i'm big i'll show you guys a belly shot uh, whenever i get back home um I still, like I said, I have a long to-do list to do, mainly things like just cleaning up my house, um, but I need to finish packing my kids, um, not hospital bag, my kids like overnight bags are going to be staying at my mom's house while we're in the hospital, um, so I need to get their bag ready to go, and that's pretty much it, just like cleaning my house, um, all of his stuff is washed, so even if he came right now, I have everything that I need um, ready to go for him. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't think I've, I've told YouTube yet that I am having a boy, so um, that's exciting. I have a, a boy and a girl, and then now I'm having another boy, so that's exciting. I think I'm going to wait and uh, do something special about revealing his name for you. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to tell you guys what that is yet, but... Man, the symptoms that I'm having, um, obviously I feel the baby move all the time. This is my most active child. He moves all the time um, and it's, it's really awesome. Whenever I'm feeling him move and I get to watch my belly change shapes and stuff, I really try to soak it in because this is most likely our last um, pregnancy and that's like one of my favorite things about pregnancy is getting to see that and it's making me emotional thinking about it, but I'm not going to cry. <laughs> um, so that's really fun. Um, I mean, the typical, my boobs have grown. Um, I'm breaking out a lot and I don't normally get acne like this. I don't know if you can see it. I've also started developing freckles on my nose and kind of like on my cheeks here. Um, so I don't know if that's pregnancy related or age related. I have no idea, but it's pretty random. Um, I've just now started getting that line that goes down your belly. I've been waiting for it the whole time. And I was like, I guess I'm not going to get it this time, but I got it with both of my other pregnancies and it's just now coming like within the past couple weeks. So by like 35 weeks. Um, which I remembered it coming so much earlier, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. <laughs> um, what else I've gained? Oh gosh. I've gained like 50 or 46 pounds, 46 pounds. So, um, that's a lot. That's like the most I think that I've ever gained out of any of my pregnancies, but I'm trying not to really put too much attention into that because I'm just trusting that my body you know knows what it's doing and it's it's gaining what it needs to I know that I'll get it off eventually so I'm not gonna worry about it <laughs> um, I still feel really good um, it's you can feel that you're getting to the end um, of the pregnancy or you I mean me obviously I'm talking about myself but I can feel that I'm getting to the end of my pregnancy because I have the normal aches and pains in my like lower uterus area. <clears throat> um, and when he gets really low and stuff like that. So that's kind of uncomfortable, but yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what else as far as symptoms goes. That's, that's pretty much it. I'm just super excited. I'm ready. Um, yeah, mostly I'm just excited and ready. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm not sleeping very well these days. Um, especially like I try to avoid having to get up to go use the restroom because um, by the time I get back to bed, I'm, I've woken myself up too much to just fall right back asleep. So then I'll be up for a couple hours before I'm finally tired enough to go back to sleep. So that sucks. But 
what can you do? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think for this pregnancy vlog, I'm gonna try to be better about keeping you guys updated with what's going on these last couple weeks. Um, I would like to do a baby watch kind of thing, but I'm not sure if, because I've seen some people do like a daily baby watch and that's not realistic for me. I can't do that. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Um, but maybe, you know, once a week I'll do a baby watch thing just to let you guys know what's happening. And maybe if I, um, start having contractions that seem consistent, um, I'll go ahead and start vlogging. I'm obviously, I definitely want to do a labor and delivery vlog. I want to capture those moments, um, because it's just super special and it's like one of those things you never want to forget and there's bits and pieces that I've forgotten about my other two labors um because you know you're it just it's a blur it just it just happens so fast and you're distracted by pain and you're on medications and stuff like that so I definitely want to vlog that so I have that for memories um so you will get to see that and yeah can't wait for you guys to meet the third little baby um but i'll show you a belly shot at the end of this video and that's it for my update so i forgot um to um give you guys a belly shot <laughs> it's like several days later i'm actually 37 weeks and four days today uh, when I was like, ah, oh, I still need to do the belly shot so I can end that video. So here it is. Let me move this stuff. This is my vanity area where I always get ready in the mornings and I'm getting ready to take my kids to school. But here we are, 37 weeks and four days. I feel huge. <laughs> Uh, I don't, every day I always say I don't think I can possibly get any bigger, but I'm pretty sure my belly gets bigger every day. So, that's it. That ends the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. And I would love to know if you're pregnant, how far along are you, what's your due date, and all of that. Um, leave me a comment down below so we can catch up and see how close we are together. That would be cool. But anyways, you guys have a great day and a great Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is tomorrow. I hope you all are doing something special with somebody you love, even if it's not, um, you know, uh, your significant other. It could be your kids or family, friends, anything like that. So yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye.